What's going on everybody, Kalipas Tech here coming back at you with another video. In this video, we're going to be doing a quick comparison between the Boost Mobile Celero 5G Plus and the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G. Now as always, if you do end up wanting to learn more about either phone individually, be sure to check out the description where I will be linking to several other videos about them, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But with that being said, Let's get into it. So with the Boost Mobile Celero 5G Plus, we're getting a really large 6.95 inch 120Hz IPS LCD display with a 1080p resolution, a PPI of 386, and a 20.5 by 9 aspect ratio. With the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G, we're getting a 6.4 inch 120Hz Super AMOLED display. This phone also has a 1080p resolution, a PPI of 403, and a 19.5 by 9 aspect ratio. So in general, both phones have really good displays, but they do have different advantages. On one hand, clearly here, the Boost Mobile Mobile Celero 5G Plus is a lot larger at 6.95 inches versus 6.4. This is like basically a mini tablet at this point. So if having a larger display is more important to you, this is definitely a huge advantage to keep in mind. And in addition to being large, again, we're also getting a 1080p resolution here. So things do look really good. And with the 120 Hertz refresh rate, the movement on the screen is going to be pretty fast and smooth, making the phone in general feel honestly a lot more premium than it actually is. On the other hand though, with the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G, I would definitely say the image quality here is better despite both phones having 1080p display. With the A54 5G, again, we are getting a Super AMOLED display, and this is going to make it a lot brighter. I mean, you can definitely tell by looking at them. In addition to this, with the Super AMOLED, the colors are typically a bit more vibrant, and the viewing angles are also a lot better as well. So if you're outside in the sun, for example, or really in any kind of bright area, or honestly, for that matter, in literally any kind of situation at all, the A54 5G is going to be a lot easier to see. And adding on to this, although on one hand, a large display like this is definitely impressive. This can be kind of uncomfortable to put in your pocket and stuff, so I do understand why a lot of people out there might want a slightly smaller display and have something that's a bit more compact. So in that case, if that is you, keep in mind the A54 5G is definitely large enough to give you a decent experience for pretty much anything. But at the same time, it's a lot easier to put in your pocket and hold in general. So if you do want something a bit more compact, you might want to go with the A54 5G. And in addition to this, again, the image quality with this phone is quite a bit better. But if you are doing maybe a lot of reading and you want a really large display, the Celero 5G Plus will have a huge advantage. For storage, both phones are getting 128 gigabytes of internal storage with micro SD card expansion too. So no matter which one you get, you will be getting plenty of storage. 128 gigabytes is definitely a lot, especially for the average user, and especially since you can actually use a micro SD card if you want. With these phones, storage is definitely not going to be a problem. For security features, both phones have fingerprint scanners. With the Boost Mobile Celero 5G Plus, it's right here on the power key. And with the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G, it's right here in the display. And in addition to this, the A54 5G also does have face unlock too, but unfortunately the Celero 5G Plus doesn't. But real quick, let's give the fingerprint scanners a try. There we go, one more time. And there we go. And now for the A54 5G. There we go, one more time. And there we go. So as you can see, both fingerprint scanners worked real well, no issues at all. And again, remember, with the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G at least, this phone does have face unlock, so if you want to use that instead, you always can. Now taking a look at the camera setups here, with the Celero 5G Plus, up front, we got a 16 megapixel selfie camera, then on the back, we got a triple camera setup, with a 50 megapixel main camera, a 5 megapixel ultra wide camera, and a 2 megapixel depth sensing camera. And then for video, this phone has a max recording quality of 1080p in both the rear and front cameras, so no 4K here. With the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G, up front, we got a 32 megapixel selfie camera. Then on the back, we got a triple camera setup here with a 50 megapixel main camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, and a 5 megapixel macro camera. And then for video, this phone does have a max recording quality of 4K in both the rear and front cameras, so definitely nice to see there. Now, on one hand, with the Boost Mobile Celero 5G Plus, this phone does have a pretty good camera setup for what it is, but in pretty much every way, the camera setup we get with the A54 5G is going to be quite a bit better. Again, this phone does have a macro camera and it can record 4K videos, whereas the Celero 5G Plus has neither of those features. So right away, the A54 5G does have an advantage there. And when it comes to photo quality, while on one hand, the Boost Mobile Celero 5G Plus is okay, it's definitely not nearly as good as the A54 5G. So if the camera is more important to you if you're constantly taking pictures and you really want the best you can get, then between the two, the A54 5G will be a much better choice. Now to give you an idea of what they can do, first, here's some pictures taken with the Boost Mobile Celero 5G Plus. So overall, again, definitely not bad, and for the average user, for more basic daily activities, it will at least get the job done, but in my opinion, things look a bit overexposed, the colors aren't really that strong, so while the details are good, I feel like you can definitely do better. 
better. Now, if you really just need an affordable phone and occasionally you wanna get a really nice Instagram photo, for example, then again, this phone will at least get the job done. And I mean, you can always add color and fix the exposure and everything with a good photo editor. But at the same time, if you really want a good camera that can just take pictures and have them turn out really good to begin with, then you can do better, but Again, for the money, considering with this phone, despite retailing for around $289, as of the recording of this video, Boost Mobile is offering it for like $59.99, and the other day I saw it for $150, so in general, you're probably not going to be paying full price for it ever. So considering this device is really affordable, I feel like the camera is decent for what it is. Now here are some pictures taken with the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G, and again, with this phone, the colors look a lot nicer, the photo quality and details and everything in general are a bit higher. So between the two, if you do want the better camera here, definitely go with the A54 5G because not only does it have more features, the photo quality is noticeably better. Now when it comes to RAM and processor, with the Celero 5G Plus, we're getting 6GB of RAM with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 695 processor. With the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G, this phone is also getting 6GB of RAM with the Exynos 1380 processor. Now for both phones, especially the Boost Mobile Celero 5G Plus, considering this is honestly a really affordable device, the performance we're getting here is pretty impressive. That being said though, between the two, the A54 5G is still going to be a bit faster. Maybe not by a whole lot, but definitely if you're going to be on your phone a bit more, especially doing maybe more demand demanding activities, you will get a better experience with the A54 5G. But for most things people typically use smartphones for, the Celero 5G Plus is still going to be perfectly fine, so for the average user, you're really not going to go wrong with this phone either. Now I did run a benchmark test on each phone using Geekbench 6, and here are the results I got. So again, as you can see, between the two, the A54 5G does have a noticeable, maybe not huge, but still noticeable advantage. So if you do want the faster phone between the two, definitely keep this in mind. But again, in my experience, for most people, the Celero 5G Plus is still plenty fast enough, and for more basic activities and even stuff like mobile gaming that takes a little bit more power, but maybe still isn't really top of the line, super demanding activities, it still will at least get the job done. So either way, if you're looking for a phone that has decent mid-range performance, despite the A54 5G being the faster phone between the two, you won't go wrong with the Celero 5G Plus either. Now both phones here have 5000 mAh batteries, with the Celero 5G Plus supporting 15 watt fast charging, and the A54 5G supporting 25. So aside from the difference in fast charging, which obviously between the two, if you have a 25 watt fast charger, the A54 5G will charge a bit faster. The battery life and longevity is going to be about the same. So if you are looking for a phone that has a really good battery, you're definitely not going to go wrong with either phone here. When it comes to software, with with the A54 5G, we are getting Android 13, but unfortunately with the Celero 5G Plus, this phone only has Android 12, and considering it is a carrier branded phone, I'm not really expecting it to get any major updates in the future, so if you do want Android 13, the A54 5G will be a much better choice. But in my experience, despite only having Android 12, things on this phone do run decently well, so overall I feel like for some people it's not really that big a deal, but I know some people want the latest version of Android at all times, which is pretty understandable considering you're going out of your way to spend money on a new phone anyway. So if that is you, you will be better off with the A54 5G. But if you're really just looking for something affordable and you're not really that concerned about the software, then again keep in mind, despite having an older version of Android, the Celero 5G Plus still does run decently well. As far as other features go, both phones do have NFC, so if you like to use tap and pay, keep in mind that's no problem for either phone. But with the A54 5G, unfortunately this phone does not have a headphone jack, whereas luckily, with the Boost Mobile Celero 5G Plus, we actually are getting a normal 3.5mm headphone jack, and while I feel like this isn't really the type of thing that would be a deal breaker, if you really do want a headphone jack, then definitely keep this in mind. But in conclusion, which of these phones is better? In general, I feel like in pretty much every way, the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G is the better device here. With the Celero 5G Plus, the only advantages this phone really has are, first of all, clearly again this phone is much larger, so if you do want a larger display, you will be better off here. And again, it also does have a headphone jack, so another thing worth keeping in mind. But with the A54 5G, we're getting much better image quality, a significantly better camera, faster performance, better fast charging, and Android 13 as well as better software support. But despite this, keep in mind the price difference is definitely significant here. On one hand, with the A54 5G, I don't know what kind of deals Boost Mobile is currently offering at the time you're watching this, but this phone unlocked goes for $449, whereas with the Celero 5G Plus, again I did see this phone at some point going for around $59, which is really affordable for what it is. And even at full price, it goes for around $289, which again, considering this is a carrier branded phone, which these phones are specifically made to be affordable, I seriously doubt many people are ever going to be paying full price for it. So considering that in pretty much any kind of situation, the Celero 5G Plus is going to be a lot more affordable. So if you're looking for a more affordable 5G phone for more basic activities, maybe you're consuming a lot of content like watching videos, reading, stuff like that, but you also want a ton of storage, pretty good performance, a decent camera setup, a large 
battery, and maybe you want to use NFC for tap and pay. In that kind of situation where you want a decently nice phone that gives a lot of value for the money, but your needs are just really not that complex, the Boost Mobile Celero 5G Plus is going to be a great choice. But if you really do want to maximize your features and performance, or maybe you want a really good camera and the best software support, then between the two, you will be better off with the A54 5G. But this concludes my comparison between the Boost Mobile Celero 5G Plus and the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G. Again, if you want to learn more about either phone individually, definitely check out the description, where I am linking to several other videos about them, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow Kalipas Tech on Twitter and Instagram, and as always, I will see you in the next video.